The following program does not offer personal medical advice. Please consult your doctor before using any treatment or product we cover. Welcome to Go to Health Media with your host, Jonathan Marks. We provide a welcoming environment where experts educate you on important health topics, answer your questions, and provide information from which you can benefit in consultation with your doctor. You can visit and subscribe to the show at gotohealthmedia.com. And now, here is Jonathan Marks. Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Marks, your host for Go To Health. Welcome, and we have another great show for you today. I have two questions for you. Are you a baby boomer or are you the adult child of a baby boomer? If you are either of those, listen up because we have some great news for you. Nearly 40% of adults over age 60 report feeling lonely. Thankfully, technology is playing a big role in seniors' lives by letting them live independently and safely at home. As baby boomers transition into their golden years, the demand for senior care technology that connects parents and children is skyrocketing. Now more than ever, many seniors desire to continue living at home. In fact, if given the choice, 77% of adults over the age of 50 would prefer to age in place. However, many of the adult children of these seniors who play a crucial role in this journey are concerned about safety and socialization. But the good news is now there's new care technology available that allows seniors to fulfill those wishes, supporting both adult children and seniors by virtually connecting them with caregivers, family, and friends. Our guest today is Todd Houghton. He's the president and CEO of HomeWatch Caregivers. He has spent several years in the home care sector with Bright Star Group Holdings and Comfort Keepers Sodexo. Todd graduated from Illinois State University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics and Business. Welcome to the show, Todd. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me this morning, Jonathan. Good. So tell us, how is senior care changing in the U.S. these days? So many of us are becoming seniors. What's changing? Yeah, um, you know, the big thing is uh, the silver tsunami, as we refer to it, 10,000 people turning 65 every day. And as you mentioned, you know, 77% of those people over the age of 50 want to live their aging years at home. So the need for home care to evolve and change is critical to provide the right resources for security and peace of mind. Uh, you know, we are we are far more sophisticated than we were five or 10 years ago when it comes to technology in the home. And that's going to be an ever-growing critical component to provide that safety security, peace of mind, and ability to live with dignity. In fact, we're going to you know, approach about a billion people in the next 25 years that are over the age of 65. So it'll continue to need to evolve. Wow, this is quite an opportunity here. Let Before we talk about your technology, let me ask a couple of questions. How do loneliness and isolation affect our overall health? Yeah, so um, as you mentioned, you know, 40% over the age of 65 report being lonely or isolated. It's the number one contributing factor to cognitive decline. So mm -hmm. disease states such as dementia or Alzheimer's. Uh, and so keeping that, that aging person connected, engaged, monitored, you know, helps reduce that escalation of dementia or other cognitive type diseases. Interesting. And how can adult children help their parents age in place? First and foremost, it's you know letting them or fulfill their wishes, letting them live at home the way they want to. But education and understanding resources that are available are critical, and having those tough conversations with your parents. Uh, you know, parents often don't want to admit that they're aging if they need help. Uh, but in order for them to live at home, they're going to need some assistance, and and the adult child is going to be the one that's going to be the influencer, having those conversations about why it's needed and, and when it's necessary to happen. And so let's talk about your technology. What do you have now that's available to help both seniors and adult children? Yeah, so we just came to market this year with our HomeWatch Connect, which is our technology solution or offering. The first component of that is a smart camera uh, device that works through the television and the remote control on the TV, provides that secure, closed environment that the uh, aging adult can be connected with their family members, their grandkids, their doctor, their caregiver, their home watch caregiver's office, 
really giving that 24 seven uh, ability to overcome isolation or loneliness uh, and just feeling connected. So that operates through the TV. It's phenomenal, uh, innovative technology, new to market that um, really nobody's using. And then our second piece is sensors that go in the home and the sensors can detect motion, sounds, uh, temperature in the room. It really serves as a proactive tool to understand if there could be a fall risk or a potential accident that could happen in the home. And those often lead to hospitalizations, which the outcomes aren't great once an aging person goes to the hospital. So we're really focused on improving those outcomes, keeping them connected, keeping them engaged. And tell me a little bit more about this device that hooks through the TV. Do I have a sense of being watched throughout my house or is it only when I'm sitting in front of the TV yes. that I have the option? Yeah, it's only when it's turned on so that senior or aging person is the one that has to activate the call uh, when a call is coming in or when a call is going out. So nobody can be monitoring or watching uh, if the if the senior is not turned it on or if the person in the home is not turned it on. There is one situation where that can be overridden, and that's if there is a virtual visit scheduled and the protocols followed that that uh, person in care is not answering it, then the adult child who is con in, in control of the, the device can override it to make sure that everything's okay in the room. So it's just a security feature in case they're not answering. We wanna do basically a welfare check uh, virtually if we need to. Got it. And the rest of the sensors around the house are really mostly their sound and motion sensors. Is that right? That's correct. Yep. They're non-intrusive sound and motion detectors. No monitoring, no watching, uh, all non-invasive. That sounds great. So this really enables the, the senior citizen to be in touch with their family or loved ones and the opposite where I guess the loved ones can be in touch with the senior. Absolutely. It promotes that. It also promotes that connection to the healthcare providers. So they can, you know, again, that aging person can live at home and be connected uh, and not feel lonely or isolated. And if they need any sort of medical attention, it's easily accessible. So they don't have to go out to the doctor's office or go to the hospital for something. We can bring that, that hospital to home or the healthcare to home. Wow. So that's a whole other feature you've just mentioned. So I can have doctor's appointments at home. Correct. Yes. So we learned a lot during uh, the COVID eras and, uh, you know, there's there's something called remote patient monitoring that happened or virtual visits. And uh, now it's becoming more commonplace. So, yeah, you know, it, sometimes it's challenging to get an 80 year old out of the house to go to a doctor's appointment and sit for two or three hours. But with the technology, we can beam the doctor right into the, the family room and, and have that visit virtually. Go to Health Media wants to interview your healthcare organization in depth for one hour. Our primary mission is to help healthcare organizations like yours get your word out. That fulfills our secondary mission, which is to educate the public about the best healthcare alternatives for them. Who wants to interview you in depth for an hour? We do. At GoToHealth, we take that one hour interview and do more with it than your leftover turkey did after Thanksgiving. We publish the full interview on YouTube and eight podcast networks. We create video shorts and post them on YouTube and our social media sites. You take those same videos and post them on your website and social media. We do keyword research and create content from your interview to place in blogs and social media posts tagging you. We create a press release that puts your web address on more than 350 news websites. All this from one simple interview. Our efficiency and success at social media makes this affordable. We can do this once or we have a six month program where we repeat the cycle. Who else will do this kind of marketing for you? Go to Health Media Will. Schedule a no-cost consult with us today at gotohealthmedia.com. Can you tell us more? This is such a revolution that's happening in healthcare, this, this home care technology, this all this technology coming into the home that can monitor uh, people. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit more about this trend? Yeah, and so it's going to be an increasing trend, right? We, uh, If we look at the healthcare, healthcare continuum, uh, the healthcare system 
doesn't want people coming to the hospital or being in the hospital. So we're really focused on how do we keep people at home, uh, you know, safe or secure with the connection. And technology is going to be that critical connection to allow people to do that. So we'll see more and more technology coming into the home via virtual visits through technology like our HomeWatch Connect, through additional sensors or, or monitoring type devices that really provide that, that correct environment to age at home. Great. And do you have any other technology that you're working on now, or you've simply focused on getting this one out to the market? Uh, we, we've got this one out and we're already into, you know, our, our uh, six month and 12 month venture of looking what's next. And so lots of exciting things in the pipeline really to continue to promote uh, connections and engagement uh, through the virtual technology aspect. Wonderful. So where can people learn more if they're interested in what you're talking about? Where do they go? Absolutely. You can go to our website, homewatchcaregivers.com. That's homewatchcaregivers.com. You can learn all about our Homewatch Caregivers Total Care Solutions that provides the end-to-end -end solution for in-home care and all about our Homewatch Connect and technology solution and see a great video on our website about it. Wonderful. Good. We will uh, put this uh, link on our website so that people can reach you easily. Todd Houghton, President and CEO of Homewatch Caregivers. He spent several years in the home care sector, and he's now got new technology that enables seniors to stay in their home and also enables their adult children, and I've just learned their health care providers, to be directly in touch with them. Todd, is there anything else you'd like to say that I haven't asked you about before we take off? You, you know, Jonathan, the only thing I want to say is, you know, as an adult child, it's critical to be connected with your parents and help direct their care so they can live at home safely. Good. Thank you so much. Todd Houghton, President and CEO of HomeWatch Caregivers, and you can find out more at homewatchcaregivers.com. Todd, thanks so much for being with us today and sharing your new technology. Thanks for having me, Jonathan. I appreciate it. You have a great day. You too. All right, everybody, this has been another Go to Health show. We look forward to seeing you next time. And in the meantime, go to health. Take care. Thank you for tuning in this week to Go to Health Media. Be sure to join Jonathan Marks and another health expert next time. You can also catch the program on your favorite podcast platform. Until our next show, be sure to visit us on the web at gotohealthmedia.com and elevate your life.